All right, today we've got quite an adventure in store for us. I'm going to find a guy named Mashimon, otherwise known as Saint Simon, Saint Simon. And he lives in a town called Santiago across Lake Atitlan from where I'm at here in San Pedro. And so this saint is very famous because he's a saint who loves smoking cigarettes and drinking rum. He loves Coca-Cola. And he's known as the saint you can go to when you have taboo issues that you wouldn't ask other saints or gods. Um, yeah, he's also <laughs> famous as a womanizer. And there's an old myth about Maximon, pronounced, I think he's pronounced Mashimon. And Mashimon, I'm going to call him Maximon for now. Maximon is famous. Well, who's this guy? In one of the myths, Mashimon. What he did was he was tasked with protecting the women folk of a fishing village. And when all the fishermen went out on their expedition, he disguised himself as each one of these fishermen and then proceeded to sleep with all of their wives. And so now they keep him in a different house and he never leaves this house. And every year they change the house that he lives in. And uh, that's so that he doesn't get out of the house and sleep with all the women in town. Look at these horses. And Mujeres. Oh, yeah. Hey. hey, how's it going? Yeah. <laughs> well, but for a small fee and a donation, for a small fee and a donation of uh, some cigarettes or some rum, you can take pictures and photos with him and, and maybe even get blessed by him. So let's go see if we can find Mashimon over in Santiago. Now we'll see how much they charge me because I heard it's 10 pesos, but they charge the tourists 25 to go to Santiago. There's no other way because if you want to go around this mountain, you have to deal with bandits, banditos. And so the only way to get to Santiago is by boat. Well, you can get there, I think, by the chicken bus, but it leaves at 5 a.m. And the chicken buses are kind of crazy. They drive like crazy chickens. Driver go. The boat has mysteriously stopped. <laughs> We're adrift in the middle of Lake Adelaide. What is happening? Adios, Mama. <laughs> oh, Ma Maxim, Masimon. <laughs> I'm coming to see you, Masimon. <laughs> No, no, I'm okay. No, gracias. All right. No, gracias. So I made it, I made it to Santiago and it was only 10 pesos, 10 quetzales. They tried to, they tried, the first time I went, they tried to charge me 25. Uh, quien se cinco, but this time I got it for Diaz. No, tuk tuk necesito, gracias. This time they only charged me Diaz because uh, I just got in the boat and I gave them 10, 10 quetzales when I got out of the boat. I keep saying pesos, I'm so used to Mexico. So here I am in Santiago. Wow. And of course all the touts, all the local touts, they wanted to give me a tour to find Mashimon, but I want to find him myself for now. For the table. Hola. Only 100 American US. 100 US to play to take a photo. Yeah, where are you from? No, no, it's okay. Canada. Canada, first time here. First time here. <laughs> I know, it's, it's okay. okay. No Very important. So, Mashimon smoking cigarette. Mm -hmm. And the shaman, spiritual guide, a lot the alcohol. It's his purification. Very important. 
So the alcohol is for purifying? Yes, for purification. So, and the smoking is communication. Communication with the spirits? Yes, yeah, spiritual, for, for example, is a tradition Maya. It's very important. Well, look at these beautiful streets already. Yes, this is two blocks for the main street. Pedro's just gone to go get the tuk-tuk and then he's gonna show me around Santiago here. Apparently it's a population of 60,000 people and it's the biggest uh, establishment on Lake Adatlan. It's quite busy, crazy. place is 1500 meters above the sea level. It's very good place for plantation. The coffee, avocado, cotton, it depends. So, if you wanna look at the color white, the dome is Catholic Church. Ah, those Catholics. Catholics. So, and this, uh, wait, uh, follow me here. Okay. So this is the door, the next museum. Mm. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's a representing the fast and the furious. This is the door. The enter, the open. To the, yeah, to the to next the museum. museum. Oh, the museum. museum. Not the underworld. Not. Oh. Nah. Darn. So follow me here. I thought that was the entrance to the Mayan underworld. Uh, and the lake is 24 kilometers long, the white is 14, the deep and the center of the lake is 350 meters deep. Pedro should basically work for National Geographic because he knows everything about the nature here, right? I'm sorry, my English is a little bit. His English is excellent. Only speak language Maya. In Maya Santiago, Spanish is speak, the Spanish. And he speaks Mayan. He taught me the word for hello in Mayan is what? Is uh, welcome in language Maya is Utslach Kolik. Thank you in, in Maya is Maltiosh. Maltiosh. We found some Toro. The cow is a holy animal in many, many countries. And here's some real Guatemalan cows. Mrrr. I bet you they like make some, some good thing. leche. <laughs> people do for work here what what do most people do to make money and here yes it's like a uh, painting mm -hmm. painting fish fishing see si. uh, in English my name is comerciante commercial in Guatemala see si. yeah like a uh, shuttle buses buses yeah like a uh, 40 or 45 percent touristic 45 percent is tourism Maybe 40 or 50 Quarenta yeah. cinco percentage of the economy in Guatemala is tourism based. Think about that. Or uh, fifty percent of normal. Fifty. Fifty. Yeah, maybe. So if forty-five percent of the economy is based on tourism, and half of this tourism is done, that's a big part of the economy. Look at. The name is now is Laundry Maya. Laundry Maya. Yes. It's for the rock and the volcano. Mm, see. So like a 25 years ago or 30 years ago, 
and the people for the washing the clothes is for the need, for necessary. Now the people come here is only for tradition. Traditional. So like a 10% and every Santiago come here for the washing the clothes. I see a white woman. Yeah, the woman. No, that's a white woman. Not. No. Now the name is Mayan Facebook. <laughs> or WhatsApp Maya. The Mayan Facebook. Why? Why? Because they come here to exchange With, gossip. Yes, for the gossip. Very, very, very good place for the gossip. And the and the hombres, where do they go for gossip? The pub. And, and the head. Oh. Oh, and the place for the beer drink. The haircut. The barber shop. Uh. You go <laughs> to get your haircut. And the women, they come if to you the. Wanna walk in? The face. Okay, walking. Pedro told me to take a walk. I think he wants to check his Facebook, but we're gonna go get a closer look in this little park here. I guess maybe there's something interesting going on. I found an American chilling here when I came down here, and he's a really friendly guy. What's your name, amigo? Ben. Ben. Ben's a tourist from America, and. I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, well, I'm waiting for my wife. She's doing her laundry and she's the gringa doing her laundry. And she's lived here, so she's totally, this is normal for her. And so I thought, oh, that's so cool. I found out who it was. How long are you staying in Guatemala? Uh, we're, we're trying to stay here permanently. You're gonna live here forever, huh? It's a beautiful place. Yeah. What like, do you do back home or what are you doing here? Uh, I said, we're just planning to relocate here. Yeah. Back. Back home in America, mechanic. Mechanic. Yeah. Mm. Well, awesome, man. Yeah, I, I solved the mystery of the gringa doing her laundry. He's actually not just in Santiago. He's famous all over the world or all over Guatemala. So, Mashimon is the change the house in different family for one year. Every year he changes the uh, house. I heard because yes. if they let him out on his own, he will have sex. Now it's a uh, new, new uh, family. Oh, yeah. he just went to a new family. So if you want a video inside the church, it's okay, you are paid extra. 35 quetzales. 35? Yes, for video inside. Uh, picture is 10 quetzales. For one, two, and three pictures. Not for me, it's for the inside house. $7. Six? Canadian. No. Canadian. Maybe. So it's a little bit of money to get a video, but... Uh, no, it's five American US. Five US dollars to take video because they know they know this is gonna get a few views on on YouTube, right? Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. It's okay now? No. The film? See. Si. Uh, okay. Let's go. Gloria al Padre, Gloria al Hijo, Gloria al Espíritu Santo, comer en principio de siempre por los siete. So, this is a private house for the Mashimon. Mashimon, a language Maya, to to heal, the name is Rilachman. Rilachman is grandfather of others, the people population. So, many people come here for different petition. Law, money, business, work, student, dependent people building. So, this uh, uh, shaman, the man is shaman. Shaman is a spiritual guide. The spiritual guide for the ceremony. So, uh, in the incense, and the incense and the smoking cigarette is his communication. And the ceremony. She, the man, is assistant, the shaman. So, this is local drink. It's uh, 36% the alcohol. Oh, I know this drink. <laughs> Yeah, the I people, know this drink well. Yes, and here is uh, a lot of the alcohol. 
is for purification. So it's um, in every in every ceremony is on of course is in language Maya. So, okay. Look at Father Holy Spiritual, uh, Father Son Spiritual Holy. This is a mix religious, the Catholic, Catholic religious. Look at the smoking cigarette. And this place is a mix religious and the Maya, the Catholic Saint, yes, a Christian Saint. Mashimon, he's making moi moi quetzales, you know, and uh, the family who gets chosen to be to have to host Mashimon for the year, they're probably really, really benefiting from this, from tourism, from blessings, and so it's a real, real blessing to get Mashimon in your house. It could probably change a family's life. Yes, yes. So how does the chan how does a family become worthy of Mashimon? Is it random or do they have to be special holy family or what? Not. It's on um, the people here. It's uh, for the election. Election. Yes. Oh. Like uh, for example, ten ten family. It's okay for me. It's okay for me. So and the uh, and ten family for the election. One is for the, the Mashimon. The next. See, so they have an election to decide who's worthy of hosting Mashimon. And so that's really, you have to be really special to be chosen. That's awesome, okay. Adios Mashimon. <laughs> I didn't give him anything because he was busy, but that's okay. Look, and this is 20 steps and represent the 20 day, the Mayan calendar. Mm -hmm. Before this place is a Maya altar, for the ceremony of Maya, for the worship the volcano and two volcanoes, the difference across the sands inside the church. 1547. 1547. Good. They didn't even have Xboxes or Playstations. What would you do in 1547 for fun? No Instagram. <laughs> wow, I felt really privileged to go see Mashimon. So if you guys want to come see Mashimon, I'll tell you how much I paid. I paid. 10 quetzales for 10 quetzales for the boat ride 35 quetzales to see to visit Mashimon and take a video of Mashimon it's 10 quetzales if you want to take a photo I paid 35 and it was 75 quetzales for my tour the total is and the total is I'll figure it out later <laughs> look at this place <laughs> this amigo is selling queso from Cabra Queso with uh, onion and tomato and it's viente and this is a uh, chicota chicota with, with queso sí. and how much is this quanto? Menos este vale cinco. cinco okay uno uno this is the market here in Santiago. Santiago's cool. <laughs> by Guatemala. Yeah. Guatemala produce de todo. What? What? No necesito. Pa comer? Pa comer? He wants me to buy all this cheese, and I just my cheese. stomach will not take it because I'm a cheese. No. I'll, Manana, uh, or not manana, yesterday. Yesterday I was sick. Yeah. You might notice that most of these buildings have these steel <clears throat> these steel construction poles, this rebar coming up out of the top. 
And the reason, the reason that they have this rebar is because <laughs> if they get popular and they want to expand their business, the only place to go is up. So they leave their roofs here unfinished and you'll always see construction happening on rooftops because as a, as a hotel or a guest house or a casa becomes more popular or if someone just wants to renovate, they just add another floor. Look at these guys, man, working hard. They're gonna build a casa straight to the moon, to the soul. All right, guys, I'm gonna end today's adventure with some, some fried chicken. Some fried pollo, because I've achieved my objective of meeting Meshimon. Here in Santiago, adios. Make sure you like and subscribe. Get me to a thousand subscribers and then I will make a little bit of money from this. That would be freaking awesome. Until next time, hasta luego.